Good morning, vloggy vlogsters. Happy Monday. Oh, I had a week off from vlogging last week. Um, and to be honest, not a lot happened. So you're all right there. Um, I am in long-term watches, may recognize, painting fleece, painty jeans. Yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of DIY this morning. Hi, DIY fans. Um, I've just got a bit of like, painting and filling to do downstairs in the kitchen um kitchen project i mean i don't want to spoil it for when i do eventually basically i've been recording all of the kitchen stuff separately so i can do what was intended to be like a kitchen vlog it's now like a three-part epic saga because our two-week project has stretched into over a month now but hey ho um it's a month today isn't it everything was well I mean, everything was delivered on the 3rd of November and it's now the 3rd of December, so yeah. Anyway, that's why I look tired because every day it's revealing new fun. Let's call it fun. Let's call it fun. Um, so I had to deal with some of that this morning. Um, but then later on this afternoon, I'm gonna go and grab coffee with Faye and Laura. Although it, I might have to like build an arc to get there because absolutely chucking it down. Um, to be honest, like, <laughs> I really struggled over the weekend because, and I say really struggled, like life's fine, life's all good, but I traditionally decorate the flat for Christmas the first weekend of December and obviously I was not able to do that because the flat is, yeah. Um, but I have managed to get a couple of bits up in the bedroom. So we've got a little wreath there, got the Christmas bedding on and I've got a little mini tree and I may have ordered <laughs> a couple more bits of Christmas decoration for the bedroom last night because I was just like Stan, I was like, oh, this is just a bit depressing. Just want it to be festive. Usually I'll have my Christmas cake made. The house to be smelling all delicious of uh, cinnamon free mince pies and things. Um, but it's fine. We're so nearly there. We're so nearly there. We're so nearly there. It's like the last hundred meters up the mountain. It's the hardest bit of the slog, but we're gonna get there. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go and do my DIY and then I'll catch up with you later when I put some actual non-painty clothes on to uh to go and socialize right then some rubbing and filling and other various diy stuff later um i have put some makeup on i've put some cute christmasy earrings on and i'm gonna go and see Faye and laura hooray oh with the kitchen chaos mess in the background because we live here now it's actually not as messy as it was <laughs> we had a bit of a tidy up um but i'm wearing Joni Go Go Girls Club T, Red Joni Cardi, Farley Jeans, Docs, and I feel like, I don't know why, but it's cardigan smells of lavender, and I feel like I'm allergic to my own cardigan. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> You're taking ideas to me, and it'll be fine. Right, uh, let's go. Laura is buying Cozy's love. She's okay. going to ignore me completely. We're both going to ignore It's festive. Hi. Faye has made cinnamon-free gingerbread for me. It's just one I do. Just for you. Just, 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 just for me. Just yeah, Laura's not allowed any. No one else allowed it. Look <laughs> how cute it is. Oh, so cute. Almost as cute as Cozy. Well, as ever, that was delightful. <laughs> this hat is way too big even for my head. My mother knitted it. She knows I've got a massive head. I think she's kind of overdone it a bit, but never mind. Just keep sliding down like this. Um, right, back to more DIY. Hello, Tuesday people. Who fell asleep in her makeup at nine o'clock last night? Maybe quarter past nine, to be generous. <sighs> Kitchen stuff is tiring. Anywho, um, you may be forgiven for thinking that this is basically the same as yesterday, but look, it's a different colour painting fleece. I'm just going to go and put a second coat on the skirting board downstairs, a bit more DIY, and then I'm going to get on with my day properly, because I think whilst that's drying, I can't really do much else. I might have a bit of a tidy up and a clean downstairs as well, actually. And then I'm going to have a nice shower and just draw a line under the DIY for the day crack on with a little bit oh and then tonight is the brum bloggers festive meetup so i need to sort out a christmas frock for that christmas jumper something festive so 
I figure whilst I'm waiting for coats of paint to dry on my ceiling, I've had a little DIY project that I've been meaning to do for ages and I've got loads of kind of covered up space for painting at the moment. Um, so I thought I may as well crack on with it. Basically, I bought this mirror from Ikea because it was the only mirror I could find that was suitable sort of shape and size for my dressing table um, that wasn't an absolute fortune. I've just been using my little Ricky Skinny light up mirror until now. Um, but the only issue with this is it's black and I want it to be gold. So I have this mirror and I have this spray paint. Let's see how we get on. Going to do the back first because I figure there's more margin for error. And yes, the back does need doing because it has these handy hooks for hanging necklaces and things off. So the idea is that it folds forward so you can see those. So give it a go. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like I've done DIY projects that look better than this. Like it seems to be running quite a lot, which is a bit annoying for a, an aerosol spray. But if I hold it really far away, you don't really get any on there. Definitely needs a second coat. Maybe it'll just be like an antiqued look. <laughs> okay, that is all painted. I have no idea what it's gonna look like. But we'll see. Oh, look at me. I have had a wash and I've got quite festive clothing on. Um, I'm just doing a bit of admin before I put my face on. Uh, I am moving files onto hard disks because that's the kind of thing vloggers need to do because I constantly have no space on my hard drive um, and catching up on some vloggage as well. Um, yeah, just checking in to say that really. Oh, I'm also a bit sad because if you look over there, can you see? The uh, suit of dreams arrived from Topshop um, and felt a bit funny buying from Topshop because of the whole, you know, stuff. Um, but... I have seen a lot of things from women working at Topshop saying, please don't stop buying from Topshop because it's us that will lose our jobs. Uh, I don't even know. I don't, don't even know what to do these days. Um, but uh, I was quite aware that I bought the trousers as a size smaller than I'd usually wear because that was the only size they had. But I have bought another pair of trousers recently that are a size smaller than I usually wear and just conned myself that maybe I might get into them. And I didn't which I am not sad about because of my size. I am fine with how big I am. I am not fine with how big those trousers are. <laughs> I would like them to be bigger because they're so gorgeous and I would like to wear them. So I really still don't know what I'm gonna wear to Dan's Christmas do. I also had a very shiny, glittery dress arrived from ASOS that was a total late night. Oh yeah, that purchase. I think A, it's possibly a bit My Little Pony even by my standards and B, it's got a big black pen mark on it. I need to have a dig in my wardrobe and see what I'm going to wear on Friday. I have got a lovely monsoon velvet dress. I'm not sure where it is. I've got like all my like posh frocks packaged up. I think they're all in the box at the top of my wardrobe. I'm going to have a little look, but not tonight. Not tonight. I'm going to carry these admin and then I'm going to go out and have some festive fun. Right, I am now running late because uh, I had a quick look and I spotted that those trousers had come back into stock in my size, in tall. So that might not work still, but we'll see. I can go and pick them up from Topshop tomorrow. Uh, anyway, um, O-O-T-D-E, out of the day, evening. I don't know, but here's what my own Brum Bloggers get together, which I'm now late for. I have gone reasonably festive. <laughs> Got a Lindy Bop dress on, a uh, Joni cardigan, brown tights, some Clark's boots. For festive flair, I am wearing some little wreath earrings. Oh God, looking in the mirror to do this is like the hardest thing I've ever done. I've no idea whether you're gonna be able to see that, but I've got some like festive flair in the hair as well. And now I better go. Well, that was just lovely. Lovely, lovely. Awesome to see people. I didn't vlog a lot because it was basically just us having a couple of drinks and nattering. Uh, the room, we were in the upstairs room at Cherry Red, so I had a lovely roaring fire. And then uh, we uh, popped over to Brewdog for some burgers, just the four of us that were left. So it's me, 
uh, Laura from Fourth the Brum, uh, Tash from Nutella Tasha, and uh, Helen from Positive Fridays. And I haven't seen Tash and Helen since the demise of our book group. <laughs> so uh, it was really lovely to see them and um, maybe have an idea for a way we can all start getting together regularly uh, in the new year. Laura might have come up with something. We shall see. Anyway, um, that bed is very much calling me. I'm gonna chill out and watch some uh, something cheesy until Dan gets back from his night out. See you tomorrow. Morning vlogsters. It's Wednesday. I had a lovely night last night. I did tell you that already, didn't I? Anyway, um, just various like things to do today. Um, but anyway, um, OOTD, as you already saw, I am wearing uh, this excellent tea cozy hat that Jess knitted for me. Fits my giant head, which is always great and unusual in hats. Um, a jumper, I think this is an M and Co. Just cozy jumper. Grey farleys, grey boots. I think I might put my pink faux fur coat. I've just put this on for the first time since last winter and isn't it always a treat? I feel in here. Gloves, gloves that I haven't been able to find. <laughs> Yay! Also, how much do I love this coat? Hello, quick OOTD, because I'm just running out to get an Uber because I've got a meeting with the accountant. Adults! Uh, spotty Joni dress, boots, gonna put a coat on, obs. Bye! I've done all the adulting today. <laughs> and a few errands, but we're now off. We've got tickets to a preview of the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which I'm quite excited about because the trailer looked really good. It's definitely the best thing about Venom. Ooh, so Into the Spider-Verse was a bit good. I'm gonna say 